Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it is going to be a new empties video. My first empties since moving to Las Vegas. I have quite a few skincare products in here, some makeup products that I either used up or I am decluttering. I'll let you know my thoughts on them, what I'm planning to repurchase, what I didn't think was so good. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello. Okay, I just got out of the shower and started to blow dry my hair. So we're not having like the best hair day in the world but we're gonna make it work. Um, for the Vegas OOTD today, I just have on some shorts and a shirt. Pretty basic today, but um, that's okay. I think the day that I'm filming it, I think I just realized it's July 1st and I'm like, are you sure? I have to pay rent now. So rent is always due the first and it's not like automatically taken out. And I'm like, I think I was supposed to, was I supposed to pay my rent today? Like. July 1st? Where is the time going? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very confused right now, but, um, you know, just kind of getting in the holiday spirit with my shirt. Anyways, probably, uh, should probably go walk up a check or something, but we have things to do first, and that is to get through this empties video, okay? So, um, like I said, a lot of skincare in here. I feel like I've really, my skincare routine has just definitely had to change since moving to Vegas. I moved from Iowa to Vegas um, nine, 10 weeks ago maybe. My skin changed so fast from more combo oily to dry and then just being outside as much as I am now you know, constantly trying to take care of my skin, keep it hydrated, keep it moisturized, bathe in SPF, all of those things. Um, but I do also have some makeup products in here too. So let's jump in. From number seven, this is the Protect and Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Day Cream. This has SPF 30, so this is what I like to use in the morning. I've gone through this before from number seven. It's a really great moisturizer. It's been a I've talked about this before on my channel. I really enjoy it. I actually already repurchased another one and I've made a pretty significant dent in it. So I like to use this in the AM, get a little bit of SPF going, but then obviously before I actually like go outdoors, I add some more SPF because it's just, it's warm in Vegas. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if you've ever heard that, but it gets warm and there's usually sunshine. It The sun wasn't shining on, I think it was Friday? or Tuesday, I literally, my days, I have no idea. But the sun wasn't shining the other day and I truly put on a long sleeve shirt. Cause I was like, oh, it's like 70 degrees or something. It was still like 94 and I was like, hmm, I'm gonna put on my long sleeve shirt. I I'm, I feel like I'm officially uh, a, a Las Vegas Ian. Las Vegas. I now officially live in Vegas, okay? I mean, I still don't have my updated driver's license. I get that next week, but I, I feel like I'm here once it's 90 some degrees and I pull on a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> but this is a great one. It's lightweight. It, you know, starts to sink into the skin right away. Also with this one, it doesn't have a fragrance to it. So I really like it. I'll probably just continue to keep repurchasing and keeping it as my AM SPF. Uh, I also went through this from First Aid Beauty. This is their Ultra Repair Cream for intense hydration. Obviously, I'm trying to keep my entire body hydrated. I could tell really quickly that like my legs were starting to get really dry. Obviously, places like my elbows were starting to get really dry, my hands. So I try to constantly keep putting lotion on. So it's one of those products that I never really, not that I didn't care about them in Iowa, it just, it was never really at the forefront of my mind. Like I would moisturize when I get out of the shower, but now it's like, I'm moisturizing before I go to bed. I'm moisturizing when I wake up. I'm moisturizing midday. I'm moisturizing after I eat my afternoon snack. Like I am constantly trying to keep my body hydrated because it's just, it's a whole other beast out here, especially, you know, during the summertime when it gets so, so hot. So yeah, I used, I, I mean, I opened this, I think, just days after I came to Vegas. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna need another one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go ahead and need another one of these. It's very thick, it's very hydrating, it feels good. That's a good one, that's a good one. I will definitely be grabbing another one of those. Uh, I did finish up a couple of my SPFs. So I have from Bliss, this is their Blackstar Invisible Daily Sunscreen. So this is SPF 30. This is a tinted sunscreen, 100% mineral, broad spectrum, SPF 30. It does have a little bit of a tint to it. It's not too, too much. Um, it just gives like a little, 
a little bit of evening out so i like to use this one when i am going to be running somewhere like and i'm going to be in public um whether it just be down to like the bar restaurant that we have on site or the pool or something like that and i just want i don't want to put makeup on but i want just like a little bit of something that's when i will jump into this a tinted one so i've used this all the way up i actually did just repurchase it i grabbed it from target so i'll link everything down below of course but i really really like this one i did a youtube shorts a couple weeks ago or a month ago or something like that talking about my top two sunscreens this is my top tinted one and like i said i've already uh bought another one and then the non-tinted one that i really like is from biosance and this is their squalene and zinc sheer mineral sunscreen so once again i've used this one all the way up this also has spf 30. Uh, my skin really enjoys squalene as a uh, ingredient so I, I i really really like this sunscreen it doesn't have a fragrance to it it's it's to me i find it easy to blend in but i notice that if i only just like over my face like it can leave a little bit of white to it i just really have to make sure i blend it in with my fingers but i don't know i feel like a lot of sunscreens are that way so it doesn't bother me um but i i think that it's a great one again i've used this all the way up and i'm planning to go to sephora i want to film um people have asked me to go to the venetian the sephora at the venetian so i am planning to do that here in a few days um and then i will be repurchasing another one of these i also repurchased this i think like right before i came to vegas i bought a new one of that but um spf key very important i actually have a sunscreen in here and i don't know i don't know if this is like kind of random for an empties video let me know if you want to see different sunscreens or favorite sunscreens i'm not really sure <laughs> what i could do here but i wanted to put this one in here because i'm simply decluttering it because this is one of my least favorite sunscreens i've ever tried so this is from bear republic and this is their mineral sunscreen spray so this is spf 30 it says citrus cooler water resistance free of chemical sunscreen actives wonderful so fun fact that i didn't know is with hair extensions which i do have spf can dye them pink if you notice under here this color should be this color but spf dyes hair extensions i had no idea so the first appointment that i had here in vegas i was talking about like spf and yeah you know, i mean i just talk about spf anyways <laughs> all the time always trying to convince people to wear it you really have to convince people to wear it out here in vegas which is freaking shocking to me but that my stylist said she goes oh i just want to let you know you know um it can dye your hair extensions pink so we recommend bare republic it's one of the few that's not going to do that and i was like oh okay i'll go buy it because you know i put it like on my neck and then on my chest and then my hair hangs down and all of those things so i went out and bought this one and i'm like i would rather have pink hair i'm not gonna lie to you i would just rather have pink hair i'm fine with that first of all it comes out in like a foam which i mean it's fine like that's not an issue but it does not blend into the skin. So when I like rub it onto my legs, my legs have a white cast. And I'm not really someone who lays in the sun. You know, I'm like, ah, I'm trying to stay away from the sun. I usually got my floppy hat on or at least a baseball hat or something. So you don't usually find me in the pool like out sunbathing because the sun ages you and that's not what I'm trying to do. But I was saying the one day I was like, I kind of want to like go in the pool or do something to where I'm not just like laying in the sun, but I'm still getting sun because my legs are so white. And my friend Henry looked at me and he goes, your legs are really white. I thought you had a little bit of a tan going on. And I was like, it's the sunscreen. It is the sunscreen. So I felt like I could never wear it out because it just made me look even more pasty white than I wanted to. I feel like that makes me feel like I don't fit into Vegas, okay? So I was like, and then on my arms, like you could see like white flakes of the sunscreen on my arms. And then, I mean, I was like, I don't know, this, this far in and then the nozzle like it starts to get like all crusty in here and then like i'll spray it and it'll spray everywhere i usually put my sunscreen on in the shower because i just like ah, everywhere you know and so i would spray this and like whoosh, on my shower wall i'm like well that's awkward so no good no good so i'm just gonna have to have pink hair it is what it is i don't care pink hair don't care but i could not handle that as that sunscreen that spf <laughs> Okay. Oh, another product from First Aid Beauty that I finished up. This is their Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. I would like to get another one of these. Okay, I'm going to have to add this to my Sephora, my Sephora wish list. I really enjoy this product. I talked about this in 
I think it was a makeup monthly and I put it pretty high up and I know quite a few of you purchased it because of that video and I've heard like nothing but glowing reviews from you and so many people still message me to say hey I bought that collagen cream from First Aid Beauty it's so great this is a really nice product I like First Aid Beauty I've liked a lot of their um, skincare products for a long time I like some of their makeup products too but this is a good one and it's a newer product this is one that I would use at night and then when I would wake up in the morning I would just feel like my skin looked a little bit plumper I'll say so I'm 34 I definitely have fine lines and wrinkles and all of the things and I know that really nothing I do skincare wise is going to take them away it's why I try to like stay really hydrated especially out here in Vegas but I feel like when I would use this one at night I could visibly see a difference on my skin and then when I used it really consecutively I felt like I just kept seeing those benefits so actually yes I'm going to add this to my Sephora wish list because I want to grab another one of these I almost forgot about it Alrighty tighty. Um, let's just finish off with some more skincare and then I'll jump into makeup. This product I did not expect to like this product. This is from Pharmacy. This is their Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. Okay, so hyaluronic acid has typically not been a friend of mine. A lot of people recommend it for hydration and plumping up the skin and all of those good things, but my skin typically in the past has just not liked the ingredient. I've tried multiple hyaluronic acids. I've tried them using them the correct way, damp skin, using the moisturizer as an occlusive. Like I, I've tried all of the things and my skin just freaks out when I use it. But when Pharmacy sent me this, I really like Pharmacy. They're definitely a favorite skincare brand of mine. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give it a shot and see what happens. And I actually really, really liked it. I used it all the way up. I was using it every single morning. Um, sometimes I was using it in the evenings too. I was really very impressed with this one. And now I'm trying to decide if I should buy another one of these. <sighs> I might have to buy another one of these. Okay, good, good. I'm currently using um, a hyaluronic acid from, well, it's called the, the Thirst Trap from Huda Beauty or from Wishville, I guess it is, the skincare line. And I know that it has hyaluronic acid in it. And I feel like my skin has not been doing as well. And I have had friends here for like two weeks. I'm filming this on the day when finally my last friend went home. And I'm like, thank goodness, get out of here. <laughs> like, I've just had so many visitors, which is amazing. But I'm not complaining. It's so amazing. It's so great to see people. Everyone from Iowa that came to see me, Lauren May Beauty came from California. Like, um, so grateful, you know, so thankful I was able to see some people so soon after I moved. And um, get to show people where I live and, and hang out with them and everything. But I definitely didn't sleep as much because, you know, I'm still like working every day. So to like balance everything, uh, sleep became less of a priority. So I feel like my skin definitely could have been freaking out because of that too. Cause I've still been eating well and hydrating well, which is great. Um, but I'm also kind of wondering if maybe it's that hyaluronic acid because like I said, my skin just doesn't appreciate it. Cause I'm breaking out like my forehead, like my chin or my chin my chin and I do struggle with hormonal acne still um, not as badly as I once did but I still do so usually when stuff is happening on my chin it can be something like I'm getting my period I had dairy whatever um, but when I break out in other places usually that's typically skincare related so I'm kind of thinking I should just repurchase this one and stop using that one from Huda Beauty and see if it helps here from Desi. This is the vitamin C glow serum. So this is Desi Perkins skincare line. This is the first product that they came out with and the, the trash can is like sticking to my legs because I have to turn the AC off when I film because it's so like you would not be able to hear me. And so I tried to move the garbage can closer and it like skipped across my leg like that. So this is Desi Perkins skincare line, the first product that they released. And I just don't have a favorite vitamin C. I don't know. I just don't have one. I skip around to all these different vitamin C's. I've tried so many. I just, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't, I just, I just can't find a favorite one. And so when she released her skincare brand, I really loved Desi Perkins. Um, and I'm, you know, super excited to see it. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. I went through this extremely quickly. I want to say this is 60, $65. So it's pretty expensive. Sometimes vitamin C's are though. Um, but I, you know, I liked the packaging on it and it is, I even looked, it is one fluid ounce because I, when I started to notice that like I had to pump a few more times, I was like, what's going on here? Like how much product is actually in here? Cause it looks like a pretty, like it looks like a thick bottle. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, how am I going through this already? So I just feel like I used it so fast compared to other vitamin C serums that will last me such a long time. And so I was like, I don't, you know, for the price and for how quickly, I just use it in the morning. So, you know, I would use it every single morning. 
So that kind of irked me, but also I feel like I see other people use it and it really does make their skin look more glowy. And it was a reason why I wanted it too, because now that my skin is more dry, I was like, oh, that would be nice to have a little bit of a glow going on, um, especially for days. Again, like I don't want to wear makeup, but I can just have a little bit of a glowy complexion. It'll be great, but I never really got the glow. Like my skin didn't really do that. And I just didn't I just didn't really notice anything. I just didn't really like see a difference. So for a more expensive product, I'm like, ah, I don't know. I feel like there's probably too many cons for me to repurchase this, but I'm gonna keep trying. I was screenshotting because I asked the other day for your vitamin C recommendations. So I screenshotted quite a few and I'm just gonna keep trying to find one. I'm just gonna keep trying to find one. Right, and then I have from Kopari, this is their Lip Glossy. I've gone through so many of these. This is a favorite of mine. I've repurchased this so many times. I just use this in the morning. It gives like just like a nice glossy, hydratedness to the lips. <laughs> yes. And like I said, it's just a favorite. It stays on for such a long time too. Like I'll put it on the morning, I'll drink my coffee, like I'll do whatever. And then by the time I go to do my makeup, a lot of times I'm like wiping off the, the gloss so I can like put my lipstick on and everything. But I just like that it keeps my lips nice and nice and hydrated. I did actually get another one sent to me from Kopari, but it's their, I think it's called like birthday suit. So it almost looks like it has a little bit of a tint to it, but I really don't notice much when I put it on my lips, which is really what I prefer. But also trying to, you know, keep my lips really hydrated also and making sure when I go out in the sun that I have something on my lips to protect them too. Because I didn't do that in the beginning and I could tell that my lips were definitely getting burnt but this is a great one I've recommended it for a long time again I've repurchased it multiple times by myself so when Kopari sent that package I was like yay it was exciting it was exciting um I have a few mascaras that I've used up Maybelline Sky High I talk about this a lot I did a video recently on my top 10 purchases of 2021 so far and I talked about the Maybelline Sky High this is a great mascara it does not transfer it does not budge it does not move especially in this Vegas heat like I can really test this out and tell you this does not move it makes your lashes really long it makes them darker um, I think it's really easy to take off I don't have any issues taking it off with like my um, cleansing oil or anything like that and I just repurchased this the other day from Target so had to have, like, I just, I can't not have the Maybelline Sky High in my collection now. So, had to get another one. Uh, I did also use up the Benefit, the Benefit Roller Lash, excuse me. Uh, I really do like this mascara. I've gone through quite a few during my time. I like that it gives the lashes a little bit of a curl. It's not one that I necessarily feel like I need to repurchase myself. Like, if I really wanted one, I'd probably, like, throw a mini into my cart at some time. But I feel like I found some really good mascaras. The Maybelline, I have the Lawless one on today. And I kind of just go back and forth from that. Them a lot because I especially don't want um, mascaras that transfer sometimes I can get a little bit with this one it's not too too bad and again I like it makes that it makes my lashes longer and it curls them and it holds the curl really well but if it pops up into my collection again somehow I would be fine with it but I'm not running to grab it like I did the Maybelline and then also from Marc Jacobs, this is a little mini of the At Lashed Mascara, and this is a really, really nice one also. I don't know what is going on with Marc Jacobs Beauty. I've had people tell me the beauty line is being discontinued. I've had people tell me it's not being discontinued. There's like speculation online. I'm not sure what's going on. I hope they don't discontinue it because I really like a lot of their products. If you watch my ranking all of my bronzers, you've seen that I like their, their bronzer quite a bit. The mascaras are good. Um, there's just, there's a, there's a lot of products from Marc Jacobs Beauty that it's, they're like sneaky good. Um, the eyeliners were always really good. The lip products are good. The lipsticks. So I'm like, oh man, I, I hope that's not the case, but I really liked the at lash. I think this came in like a set. I want to say, I want to say it came in like a mascara set and that's where I was trying it. Very, very little transfer with this one also. Um, so I feel confident wearing it. I feel confident wearing on my bottom lashes, but it makes your lashes thicker and longer and darker. And this has been a go-to of mine also. So I hope that line's not being discontinued. I would be really, really sad, okay? I would be really sad. Um, all right, and then I think we're just gonna finish off with some brow products. So I'm just decluttering these. These are from Mac. I have no idea why these are still in my collection. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. These are the Shape and Shade Brow Tint. So these were ones that I kind of thought were okay. It, these are older products. I, again, I don't know why I continue to keep these around. So you have like this marker pen on the other side with a more liquid product. And then you have um, like the, like more of like a powder on the other. And when I was trying these, 
I mean, I'm still not really great at doing my brows, don't get me wrong, but like when I was trying these, I really wasn't all that great and I really didn't step outside just like a regular pencil. So it was kind of hard for me to get the hang of it. Um, and these are just, I mean, they're completely dried out by now. I've had them for such a long time. I don't think there's something that I'm gonna need just with my particular brow preferences. It's just not something that I reach for very often. So I'm finally just saying goodbye to them. And then from Huda Beauty, I went through the Bomb Brows. I have the shade four in light brown. I'm kind of surprised that I went through this so quickly, but the um, actual brow product, I mean, it's gone so you can't see it, but it is very, very, very thin. It is very, very tiny. And so I wonder if maybe that's why I went through it so quickly. Um, I do have pretty defined brows even when I don't have them filled in. I will say my left one is um, not as full as my right one, so sometimes I have to do a little bit more work over here. But even still, I was kind of like, I feel like I went through that really quickly. Like I feel like my Benefit pencils last um, so much longer. My one from Arches and Halos, I feel like that one lasts so much longer because this never really was a favorite of mine. The color wasn't quite right. It was a little bit off. I felt like I had to spend a little bit more time on my brows when I did them. So it wasn't like I was constantly reaching for this every single day. So to still go through it that fast, I was like, okay. So once again, I don't think that this is going to be one that I repurchase. I don't think it's going to fit in with like my top brow pencils. I mean, it was fine, but yeah, a little surprised I used it so fast. And then lastly, the final product that I have is from Essence, and this is their Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil. Um, so this one here, once again, I like don't know why I'm trying to twist this up because it's absolutely gone, but my preference when it comes to brows is more of a precise pencil. The Benefit Precisely My Brow, um, CoverGirl, their like Micro Fine Brow, that's kind of like what my ideal category is for brow pencils and that's what this one falls into the shade i was using is taupe i'm pretty confident that it doesn't say on here nope light brown i was not that confident okay <laughs> slow your roll samantha the shade i was using was light brown i felt like it was a good match it was a little bit more on the waxier side than i typically prefer i don't like something that's too too waxy because sometimes i can find it hard to like keep filling in like a certain spot. I feel like my brow hairs start to move around a little bit, but I liked it. And I know that I started using this in Iowa, so I've been using it for a while. So I feel like it had a decent wear time on it. The thing that I didn't like the most was that there's no spoolie on the other side. I do like to have a spoolie, so I would either have to grab my single spoolie or grab another brow pencil. But I wanna say this is like between two and four dollars. Do I need to repurchase it? Probably not because I'll stick with my, you know, my favorite brow pencils. But if you want to try out a new pencil, this could be one that you could like throw into your Alta cart or something because I thought it was good. Like I, I thought it was a fine pencil. So uh, other than that, that's it. My trash can is now empty. My new trash can. I did say goodbye to the pink one um, after I left Iowa. So we just got a new black one the other day. So I could be doing these empties videos. But I hope that you enjoyed it. Seeing all of my thoughts on SPF, skincare, makeup products. Definitely let me know what you thought in the comments. And other than that, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go. And I'll see you in my next video.